Okay, now that we got all of this in, hopefully you have all this in and try, if you don't, try to keep up. Um, this will be on YouTube later today once I get it all done. Now, is everybody to this point? So, the first part is fairly easy. We're going to do the amount minus the mean, which is a we're going to put a formula in there, and it's going to be equals, and the amount is in cell B4. It may be different for you guys, depending on where you started. It's wherever, it's this cell right here. You're going to be using this cell right here, minus 14.7, because that's our mean. And hit return, and it should pop up. What did I do? Hit the wrong. I know, but it didn't calculate. There we go. Um, put it in parentheses. That's better. All right, now that you everybody have 485.3 in there. So again, click your little, grab the little square, drag it straight across, and it will do all the calculations for you. And if it did it right, the last one should be negative 14.7. Did you grab the little box? Make sure you grab the little box. Remember, anytime you have a mistake, you can go up here and hit undo. This little arrow is undo. It'll undo what you just did. And then the next calculation is down here. And that's essentially this cell squared. And it so all you got to do is put equals, and my cell is B6. Yours is going to be different. Carrot 2, and it did it. So whatever this cell is, you're going to go equals, and you can see my thing up here. Equals the cell that the amount minus mean up carrot two will square it for you. Then grab your little box again, drag it across, and should look like that. Yep. Amount minus mean, I, I'll click on it here, is equals, and I put parentheses, the amount, which is going to be 500. In my case, it's, oh, it's the one with the B4. Oh, this one down here? Yeah, the one you showed me. I used the cell right above it. So in my case, it is B. What is it? It's, not. it's B6 in my case. <laughs> Up carrot 2. Yep, 216.09. Then, for this cell here, it's probability times the cell you just did. So it's going to be, in my case, I'm going to put equals. And it's going to be, in my case, and I'm going to put parentheses around it. It's B5 times... Again, in my, put the little star, asterisk, times B7, print, whoop, right side parentheses, and hit return. So,
it's equals open parentheses the probability which is the 0 0.01 times the amount minus mean squared cell let me see if I can zoom in for you here you go there we go that's a whole lot better Then, and Stace is correct, grab the box, drag it all the way across. And here's what I want you to do on this one. Drag it all the way across and leave it highlighted just like that. I'm going to give you a second. Leave it highlighted. Because what we're going to do is figure the sum of this, and we have a function in Google Sheets to do that go up to more in case mine's all compressed yours has probably just got the little sigma sign here you have this whole row highlighted from before hit sigma and sum and then hit return and that is your variance that's how far apart these claims can be Now this number here, the 3787 goes into this spot right here. So you can do a command C if you want and command V. Whoop, it didn't like that. So just put the number in there. Cuz it brought the So the variance is 3787 point was it 4? 4 what? All right. Now, what that means is the insurance claims can vary $387,000 back and forth. All right. Then to get the standard deviation is just going equals, okay, hold on, square root, and do a parentheses of cell B11. And boom. So the standard deviation on any claim is $61,000. And let me do this. 